Where am I at? Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze, where we like to uh, sample different boozes, whiskey and stuff from all over the world. And so today we are excited for this um, sample. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Um, and where there's like a little exchange of whiskeys going on in what front of the, the camera. Heck? It's like nobody knows how to behave during the But for three... So, Reserve. today we are going to um, be looking at uh, an Ardbeg, which I like Ardbeg. You like Ardbeg? I don't know if I've ever tried it before. Really? I'm sure you have. Probably. This is uh, the Ardbeg uh, Wee Beastie. <clears throat> Wee Beastie. I think it's relatively new, like maybe a year or so since they came out with the Wee Beastie. I could be wrong. It's an Islay. You like Islays? I like, I enjoy Islay. Uh, and it's from the Ardbeg Distillery. It comes in at $39.99. That's pretty affordable for an Islay, if you ask me. Uh, actually, that's really affordable. And the proof is 47.4% or 95 proof. And it's aged five years. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm being silly. Stupid. Do you want some? Yes, I do. <laughs> Stop being silly. <laughs> See what I have to work with? What's the proof? It is 95. Okay. I did his records for him before. He's... You have to excuse him. He's just weird to me. Okay. So... Um, it's going to be a two barrel on cost at $39.99. Barely. It's one penny under a one barrel. We'll keep it as a two. I know that irritates you not to round it up to $40, but we're going to keep it at $39.99. So it's a two barrel on cost. And if you get one more penny? It's a one barrel on cost. Okay. Let's go ahead and do our review. There's no mistaking this is an eye light. Mm -hmm. I'm using a new word here. Do we have that word on there? We don't have that word on there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, on cost, this is a uh, two barrel because of um, the price tag. For aroma, we're each given a 3.5. What's your aroma profile like? I got the, um, there's a little bit of mint. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the mint. It's definitely leather because it's like where it comes from. Okay. I normally associate the leather tobacco-y aroma from uh, bourbons, but okay. And it's got... Let me see. I'm, just... I'm not really with it today. It's got the... um. You know, it's definitely got the peaty because where it's from. I mean, yeah, very smoky peat aroma to it. Some of the stuff that comes with it is just a given, just because of the right. Area. Okay, yeah, because I get all of that. Plus, it's a little briny. Uh huh. And it has a medicinal kind of um, aroma to it. Also, on flavor, which I didn't put down, but I'm going to put that down because it does have a medicinal, like you're in a hospital type of. Flavor. Yeah, and it's got the different malt flavor okay. to it a little bit. For flavor, and we do are very similar. You get a 3.5, <clears throat> I have it a 3. Yeah, it's got a very good flavor, and I just want to say 
it's been a while since I've tried some, you know, single malt from Islay. Islay. Islay, I'm sorry. Um, then I'm like, I'm thinking I like a lot of other ones mm -hmm. opposed to this one, but it's been your, so your favorite is what, what do, what do you call it? The Laforia? Yeah. The Laforia from Islay? Islay? Islay, yeah, I get Laforia in the head when I drink it. Okay. Um, for my flavor profile, I find it very um, kind of tangy and sweet, mm -hmm. uh, which I find with Ardbeg. I've had almost all of the different Ardbegs uh, up the line. We only have two, though. We have the Wee Beastie and the Tenure. But I've had most of them. Um, it is very tangy and sweet. I think that's kind of a trademark. But it's also peppery to me um, and smoky. Not just on the nose, but on the, the palate. Yeah. So. For bite, we each give it a three. I do think it's got a kind of a lingering spicy pepper bite to it. I and think a little medicinal. You put a little bit of water in there, it kind of mellows the bite oh, a yeah, little, a little bit. bit. But I don't think it mellows it to like anything above right. a three. So, um, you know, you did comparisons of other eyelids that you like, um, that we've done quite a few, like the Lafroys or what you call Laforias. And we have um, the, the Oban and the Shieldags, Shieldags. Talisker here. We've done Talisker and um, Kaloa, I think is what it is, that's up there behind the light. Um, and Lagavulin. And we haven't done one for a long time, so. Yeah. I don't think so. I just can't remember right now, offhand. Um, I think the last one might have been, yeah, Jura, which is not actually an island. It's the island next to Jura, or next to the island. But, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, there's a big controversy, or not controversy, competition between the Ardbeg um, fan group and the Lafroy fan group. I like uh, them equally. Actually, I like... Lafroy a little bit better, but um, I do like Ardbeg, and I think that uh, if you want to start looking at Islays and get involved into them, this is a goal to reach, is to um, look at the Ardbeg. Uh, there's much more smokier oh, whiskeys yeah. out there. I, I actually think um, Compass Box makes some really smoky whiskeys a little bit more than this. Uh, Lafroy's even got a little bit more smokier um, things in this but so does our bag and then of course the granddaddy of smokiness is octomore which we don't have but tell us what you think what's your favorite um i like uh do you like the wee beastie or would you rather just go straight with the tenure or something else um i'm pretty sure this is relatively new within the past year or two uh coming out uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe check out instagram facebook twitter and all of our merchandise and remember there is no bad whiskey, there's only good whiskey and great whiskey. This is pretty great. To great good, whiskey. Good to great. I, I'm pretty sure that it should have deserved a better episode, so I apologize. <laughs> Bye. Laters. Bye. Laters. <laughs> Bye.